The Dan Moore Memorial Chase is next, and this is a two mile one furlong. Grade one again, the top one is Answer Lane for Craig Allen, Captain Bluebird, Ryan Costello, Floats Like a Summer Fly, Joshua Sutherland, Franklin Roosevelt, Paul Rhodes, Mr. Tiddlewinks for Graham Clutterbuck, Pavillon Bury, Darren Thompson, Regal Brave, Alex Cherry, Emerald High, Derek Hinton, Falklands Task Force, Paul Rhodes, Glenn Deer, Alex Cherry, and in the nick of time, Joshua Sutherland. They're called in and away then, and Franklin Roosevelt probably just about the first to show. Captain Bluebird was a little bit slow, it's a short run to the first, and we've already lost one at the first. Emerald High is gone, so bad luck for Derek Hinton. And he crashes out at the first, and they've got another 12 to take, and they're already at the second, and the leader gave that an almighty wallop there. Answer Lane, and they're probably going a little bit too quick, I think, at the moment. Floats like a summer fly is in the lead. Answer Lane is pretty keen to get back in the lead, and he's going like a five furlong sprinter at the moment. He's already walked through one of them. They're racing past the winning post in and down towards the third, and the jockey on Answer Lane must be wondering whether he's going to end up on the deck the way this one's going, because it ran straight through that second fence. But it's in the lead by about half a length floats like a summer fly a second and they're six lengths clear of the Paul Rhodes pair Falklands Task Force and Franklin Roosevelt as they take the third which they all jumped much better and Ansa Lane is in the lead by about a length floats like a summer fly is in second are these two setting the race up for everybody else or are they going to be able to Stay where they are. They jump that fourth fence and a really good jump by floats like a summer fly. Captain Bluebird's gone at the back when out of shot, but it's Answer Lane in the lead from floats like a summer fly second. Gap off six lengths then to Falklands Tax Force and then Mr. Tiddlewinks as they take the fifth, which they all get over safely this time. And Answer Lane and floats like a summer fly are disputing the lead. Are they racing together or are they cutting each other's throats? They're five lengths ahead of Mr. Tiddlewinks in third. Then comes Falklands Task Force and in the nick of Time after that one, Franklin Roosevelt as they take the sixth, which they're all over safety. Although Glenn Dewar made a mistake at the back and floats like a summer fly. And Ansel Lane continuing to blaze the trail as they get down to the seventh. They jump that one really well, though. The field are closing though now and it floats like a summer fly in answer lane from Mr Tiddlewinks back in third Falklands Task Force is in fourth then there's almost three in a line then Franklin Roosevelt Pavillon Burian in the nick of time as they're already over the eighth and they're really not hanging about here and answer lane on the outside of floats like a summer fly continue to dispute the lead the Alex Cherry Bear are at the back and Mr. Tiddlewinks is in third. He's been chased by the Paul Rhodes pair as they take their ninth, and they're all over that one as well. Although in the nick of time was a little bit untidy. And Ansel Lane is in the lead by about a length, and it's now kicked on again and found an extra gear. Floats like a summer fly, maybe giving that one a little bit of a breather in second. Then Mr. Tiddlewinks, Franklin Roosevelt's now being driven up to challenge, but ran into a brick wall there. Falkland's task force is going to swing, switch around the outside. Then comes Pavillon Bury in the nick of time. Glendier and Regal Brave got a work to do. They take the tenth then, and Ansel Lane was over that one nicely but Franklin Roosevelt has now burst into the lead and I think those two may have gone off too quick because Franklin Roosevelt has now kicked on by three lengths it's Franklin Roosevelt coming out towards the third last skips over it nicely good jump though by Ancelain who's found a second win then also switching there round to the outside is Pavillon Bury coming with a run Falklands task force is there as well and so too is Mr Tiddlewinks looks like floats like a summer fly might be beaten today it's Franklin Roosevelt in the lead they're now being pressed by Pavillon Bury and then Falklands task force they race down towards the second last fence which is the final ditch no it's not it's a plain one over it they go and it's Pavillon Bury who takes it up Pavillon Bury's in the lead Mr Tiddlewink moves into second then comes Franklin Roosevelt and Falklands Task Force at the final fence they go and Pavillon Bury gets over it and pulls away again Pavillon Bury jockeys a little look over his shoulder he thinks he's got this one sewn up it looks like he has as he races up towards the line Pavillon Bury it's going to be another one for Aaron Thompson and up towards the line Pavillon Bury takes it Mr Tiddlewink second then Franklin Roosevelt and Falklands Task Floats like a summer fly after that one. Uh, Regal Brave was the last one to finish. And I think we've seen from throughout the season how uh, good floats like a summer fly is. I think those two that went off cut each other's throats and set that race up for the rest of them there because they've both finished well behind compared to where they normally do. And um, Pavillon Bury is the happy recipient of that. So Darren Thompson, another grade one winner for him. Pavillon Bury, the winner. Mr. Tiddlewinks for Graham Clutterbuck second. Paul Rhodes was third and fourth with Franklin Roosevelt and Falklands Task Force. And Floats Like a Summerfly for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.